um, Bill, hi, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I saw lately on, uh, on social media that clip you had on Letterman where you did the Tom Cruise impersonation, kind of went viral recently. Uh, did you ever get any response from Tom on that imitation you did that was spot on? Uh, no, no, and I, I did that a long time ago, and um, yeah, and they did like, I haven't seen it, the, the face, the, the deep fake thing, yeah. But no, Tom Cruise doesn't call me. <laughs> and congratulations. Thank you so much. Hi there, uh, Hi. Brian Welk with The Wrap. Uh, I want to know if you, uh, congratulations first of all, but I want to know if you had any thoughts on the uh, firing of Shane Gillis with SNL uh, and all the drama that's going on there? No, I have no thoughts on that. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on like sensitivity in comedy if things are changing now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just feel like you shouldn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you know? But I think also, you know, especially in comedy, you do stuff uh, six or seven years ago that wouldn't be okay now and probably for good reason, you know what I mean? So I think a lot of us are, you know, I, I only speak for myself, but there's, you know, like everybody, you have to kind of grow. And so I, I think it's a good thing. I don't, uh, yeah, I'm never interested in, um, uh, you know, upsetting anybody, you know? Bill, over here, congratulations. I, I read somewhere uh, in a um, review of season two, someone said it's basically a drama now, um, <laughs> meaning that the show got darker. Yeah. Um, is that the, 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 the continuing motivation for season three, going darker? <laughs> Do you is, still see it as a comedy, as a mix? I, I, we never look at it in terms of comedy or drama. We're just trying to tell the story as honestly as we can. <laughs> And I think just by virtue of like the guy being a murderer, it's gonna get really dark, you know? But, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, season three, we just kind of met on it for the first time last week. And yeah, it's really fucked up. It's like, <laughs> it's really terrifying. <laughs> but I kind of like this trend. I like comedy. Like there used to be a thing where, oh, you can't do that because it's too, as long as it's about the character and it's emotionally resonant, you know, I think Fleabag does it too incredibly well, you know, so I like that. Bill, do you have a sense in your mind of the end point of Barry's story? Do you have a vision for how many seasons or episodes it will go in total? Um, n no, no, we don't. And every time I talk to Alec Berg about that, I think he's going to have a stroke. But um, yeah, we have no idea how it's going to end. Uh, we have no idea how season three starts. Like we have, we kind of just wrote ourselves, we, we have a tendency to write ourselves into a corner and then um, we kind of forget about it. And then we get back in the writer's room months later, we go, why did we, why did we let Kusino find out who he is? <laughs> like we kind of screwed ourselves. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Jeannie Wolf. Um, on, in the show, Henry Winkler's character is this crazy acting teacher who keeps giving you advice and, you know, what's, what, what do you learn from that? And what, what's your relationship like off screen? Oh, it was me and Henry? Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. We have breakfast sometimes. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's just a wonderful guy. I mean, he's a real, you know, he's just, he's like a properly trained actor. I think people always think of him as, you know, happy days and stuff, but, you know, he's studied with Stella Adler, you know what I mean? He's, he's like a, he's an incredible actor and, and puts a lot of thought into this. So a lot of times we sit and eat, you know, breakfast and we'll talk about the show and his character and, you know, ideas or whatever. But then a lot of times we just talk and he tells me, you know, I might ask him questions about, you know, parenthood or, you know, whatever. And, and uh, he'll, he'll be super helpful. Okay. He's great. Yeah. And we have time for one more question. Hi, Bill. Congratulations. Jim Roop with Westwood One. Is there a way to articulate this? I mean, from your journey into comedy to now winning an Emmy as a lead actor in a series, I mean, how do you, how do you even process that? I, I don't. I haven't processed it from last year. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, it's weird, like, being a 
production assistant. You know, I, I never did the Emmys, but I used to PA on the Grammys, you know, when I first moved here 20 years ago. And so it's very weird being on this end of it, but um, it's, 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 a, it's, I'm very, I, I can't, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you, right. everyone. Thanks, guys.